how to find companies or sites that hire freelance PMs. Now you can be based anywhere around the world and use these sites to look for freelance roles. I give a full review of the following free sites. Now this video is long overdue and it's also in response to one of my subscribers called Kian McSwain who asked a question how to find companies or sites that hire freelance PM. The first site I reviewed was Upwork, the second site being Fiverr and the third and final site being LinkedIn. The first site I reviewed is Upwork. Let's just go into a little definition of what Upwork is. It is one of the largest freelancing websites that provides numerous opportunities in a wide range of fields making it easy for freelance project managers to get work. One of the unique selling points of Upwork, you could actually find freelance PM roles that pay a decent rate. Now, one of the PM roles that I came across in digital marketing had a different type of payment plan, which I quite like. They offered to pay the project manager per client and to expect monthly the number of clients to be between 15 to 18. So if you're working with 18 clients and obviously the $300 per client, then you can expect around $5,400 per month. In my opinion, this role would be perfect for somebody who wanted flexibility and part-time hours. So imagine if you're working this role in addition to your full-time role or in addition to another part-time role, or if this was the only role that you were doing as a self-employed project manager, I think it's pretty good personally. So there was another role, which was a senior project manager role within the health tech industry. So on an hourly basis, they were paying between 48 to 72 pounds. It was 30 plus hours per week and for six months. So the minimum that you would be bringing home is £5,760. And that's going for the minimum of doing 30 hours per week for £48 per hour. Obviously, the higher the rate for the minimum number of hours per week, you're looking at around £8,640. In my opinion, that is really good for a freelance PM, just under £9,000 per month. You could literally do this as a full time job but as a freelancer and obviously sort out your own taxes these kind of roles is what i'd find on linkedin so it was great that they're actually showing these types of roles on upwork so i found that some of the benefits of upwork was that you get to see what other freelancers have rated a particular company you get an idea of how good the company is if they're a reputable company if they pay on time i think that that's really good because you know sometimes companies don't pay freelancers on time or they don't pay them at all i've heard horror stories in that sense so you really get an idea of whether the company is one that is quite reputable. Although there wasn't a lot of PM roles on Upwork, I did find that the hourly range that they were offering was really good actually. And I would personally consider using Upwork if I was looking for a new contract. A few of the negatives that I found about Upwork was that once I was all set up and I was able to start looking for roles, it was difficult to filter to just the PM roles. I did have to work my way through a sea of roles in total. It was like 128. I did have to work my way through those roles just to find two project manager roles. It's not tailored solely to project managers, but regardless of that, the two roles that I did find Find. they were quite good unique in their own sense I found that setting up my profile was very simple and straightforward I was able to just copy and paste my experiences from my CV which saved a lot of time you do need proof of ID and your account verified before you can start looking for roles however this did only take just under an hour so it wasn't long at all would I personally use Upwork to find freelance roles yes I would I would look I have a profile set up for myself now so when I know that my contract is coming to an end Upwork is a site that I will definitely have a look at and see what is out there the second one is Fiverr I actually really liked Fiverr because it was really unique because you could create your own packages if you haven't heard of Fiverr before Fiverr is a great platform for freelancers to sell their services freelancers post their services and clients who have an interest in their work can ask them questions and if they're pleased with their answer then essentially hire them. So one of the unique selling points with Fiverr, and I really liked this, you could tailor your services and be as creative as you want with it. For example, if you are a project manager and you are also skilled in design and illustration, then you have the ability to sell your packages based around those unique skill sets. Here is an example of the type of package that would work great on Fiverr. You could split these into three packages. So the first package you could offer is a project discovery and a, you know, basic 
concept design for £200. The second package could be an intermediate project development and a design package. This could be where you offer full project management with revisions, a multiple number of amends for £500. Your final package, you could offer complete end-to-end -end project management and a premium design service. That package could be about £1,000. This is all unique to your skill set. So that was for a project manager and a designer. So for me personally, if I was going to use Fiverr, then perhaps I would just create packages tailored around coaching and also offering project management services and then create three different packages. You can also set your own turnaround times for each package. So the basic package could be within, you know, three to four days. With the more advanced package, you could offer that service within 21 days. You can also see a review of the different clients. The clients can also review you. So it's really a site for PMs who are really creative and they really just want to actually act as a self-employed person. This is perfect for somebody who wants to freelance on the side of their full-time job. And obviously the turnaround times can really benefit you because you set that, you create your own package and you set the rate. Some of the negatives now is that there is a lot of competition. The platform has a vast number of freelancers. They offer similar services, which can make it challenging to stand out and secure clients. This high level of competition can drive prices down. So if someone's offering a starter package from around $10, depending on what their package is, you would have to be more creative in what you offer in your starter package. So so Fiverr does offer a service fee which can cut into the earnings of both the freelancer and the customer. What I loved about Fiverr, despite the low pricing, you can actually derive a pricing plan and a complete business based on your own unique packages. I feel like this is perfect for somebody who has a full-time job but they also have a desire to get into freelance work and build a freelance business on the side. For me, would I use Fiverr? Yes, I absolutely would. I would really utilize every single project management skill set to really create amazing bespoke packages that stand out among the competitors. I saw some freelance PMs advertising themselves via video. It's one of those sites to be creative and really put yourself out there. Put that time into selling yourself and I really think you could do well on Fiverr. Now, my personal favorite, which is a site where I find most of my freelance roles is LinkedIn. LinkedIn is the world's largest professional networking platform. It increases the chances of project managers finding freelance roles through their profiles. So essentially you've got the profile element, you've got the networking element, and you've also got the job hunting element. How do I use LinkedIn personally? Most companies are on LinkedIn. I don't think there's a company out there that isn't on LinkedIn. And if they aren't on LinkedIn, then they need to get onto LinkedIn. I was once told by a recruiter in my early days that you cannot be taken seriously as a professional if you are not on LinkedIn. I have been consistent over the years in building relationships with recruiters and these recruiters are obviously specific to the industry that I work in. For me, it's given me a better chance of seeing new roles as the roles are posted. Benefits of LinkedIn, I find, is that you can connect directly with these recruiters. If I see a new posting and it matches my experiences and I think, yeah, I can do this role, date rate matches what I'm after, then I personally would drop them a DM, send them my CV, and then I would also follow up with an email, sharing my CV again and just letting them know that I came across their role on LinkedIn and I would love to be put forward. This is one of the reasons why I recommend people getting recommendations from previous managers, co-workers. It sets you apart. The feedback that you are given shows the recruiter that you are essentially good at what you do. So I have had a head of a PM team from a large news corporation reach out to me via LinkedIn Messenger. We've set up an interview and within weeks began and a freelance role. So it can literally be as simple as that. Negatives, in all honesty, I haven't really come across many negatives on LinkedIn. I know that it's quite saturated and you know, it's a huge like, networking site for professionals. So yes, if you are applying for a job, you know, directly via you know, the job application, then it can be quite saturated and you can see how many people are applying for those jobs. What I do, because of the relationships that I have built, I do just go directly to the recruiter themselves. I have applied for a freelance freelance role via the job searching site and I have found roles that 
way. I have found roles through contacting recruiters directly and I have found roles through hiring managers from companies contacting me directly. So there's so much opportunities and because it's one of those sites that so many companies are using, there's a wider spectrum of ways you can be hired for a freelance role. So remember, you still need to put the work into your profile to get noticed. So make sure your profile is up to date on LinkedIn, build your network, get those recommendations in. If you treat LinkedIn like you treat TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, instead of aimlessly searching through these sites, get connecting with professionals, get connecting with like-minded people on LinkedIn. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it valuable, please let me know in the comments and also let me know if you have found any roles through Fiverr, through LinkedIn or through Upwork or if there's any other sites that you have used to find freelance roles. Let me know. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.